Um, big, big picture question. You know, we, I, I feel like we see so many stories on diversity in tech and diversity in tech and it feels like in the last year, it's kind of a, a big buzzword and it's a popular hot topic. And, um, you know, I guess the question is what can really be done about it? So, you know, what do you think needs to be done to get more women and more people of color into STEM related careers? Do you want to start, Tasha? Sure. So as far as STEM related careers, I think it's really um, making sure that people don't have the fear. Uh, when you're in a classroom setting and the math problems are too hard or the science um, problems are seem very hard to folks, providing that support that they need to feel comfortable answering questions in class, feel comfortable with doing things that people have deemed hard. Because as my mom, who was a teacher, said, if it was hard, everybody would do it. And so that separates you from the crowd if you're able to do some of those things that other folks are not participating in or other folks are not taking the effort to learn. So I think all of us probably have very strong science backgrounds and math backgrounds here because we took the time to do the things that needed to happen versus just taking the easy route. So we need to encourage our young people to do that. Well, so uh, yeah, you, you said a few things that I, I found fascinating, which is uh, it's the inclusion actually does start should start in school. It becomes exclusive, uh, you know, because all the smart kids go and they do their thing, and then everybody else goes and does theirs. Um, I, I think that's that's a great place to start, and it needs to be inclusive. And, and I think another thing is that more examples of of people of color who are in these careers need to be lifted up. Uh, we need to be in front of children. We need to be in front of students. We need to be in front of our peers, you know, and letting them know that this is what we're doing because they can't aspire to that if they don't see it. And and it, it's something that, that I've put a lot of thought into in the last few months of how I can and how I can enable more people of color and women to get in front of other students, to get in front of other communities, so that they see that we exist. Yeah. Well, they kind of covered, you know, what I was going to say. Um, yeah, the biggest thing I think is exposure. Um, letting kids, especially women, um, know that th things are going on. So a lot of people they don't see us a lot. Um, I always tell people that being from a small town, you you can't get mad at kids for not knowing. You know, so if you're blaming somebody for not knowing the tech, like it's not what they know. Like they know LeBron James, they know Kobe Bryant. It's what they see. Um, so it's almost hard to blame a kid for not knowing, but it's up to us like to put it in their face, like more exposure um, and teaching.